Okay, so now we have John, and let's see. John, I've turned your microphone on. Would you like to tell me what your question is? I think your microphone on your side must be turned off or turned down or not plugged in or something because I can't hear you. But I'll go ahead and read your question out loud and leave your microphone on, and when you chime in, I'll will know it's working. So the question is, I want to make a page like this with reports that people can download, and the page, let's see, so that's HTTP colon slash slash. John, are you there? Okay, well, John, when you get here, go ahead and raise your hand. I'm turning your microphone off for a moment because it's getting some weird feedback. But anyway, HTTP colon, and then it's hosted.cd, cdpe.com slash 66283 slash resources ASPX. Okay, and so you've got these different reports that you want to download. And if you do that, it takes you to a place where you enter your information. Okay. So probably the easiest way to do this, John, is to use a AWeber or MailChimp, one of the autoresponders, to gather the address information and then to deliver a download link. The reason why you'd want to use an autoresponder rather than, say, doing this yourself is because you stand a much lower chance of being marked as a spammer when you use an autoresponder. The spam folks, you know, spam algorithms make a general assumption that if you're using one of the reputable systems for sending out email that, you know, that it's not spam because they police themselves so well. Anyway, you decrease the chance that your email is going to get caught in spam. And so that, that's the best reason for doing this. And so if you use someone like AWeber, AWeber has, let's just go to my AWeber account for a moment, www.aweber.com. AWeber has this ability to have a place on a broadcast email or on an autoresponder email. So, for example, a follow-up email. In a follow-up email, you can add, let's see, let's just go ahead and look at this follow-up email. On this follow-up email, you could easily you know, add a link here to a place on your site that would allow them to download the file. And then all you got to do is name the folder on the site where you're holding it. Or, or actually, you could just use the media library to upload the file also. But then all you would do is, you know, that little button here, this button would take you to a particular sign-up page. And you'd end up with a sign-up page really for each of these individual reports, right, unless you're going to give them access to all the reports with one sign-up, which maybe makes sense. But this takes you to a sign-up page. Yeah, so they've got financial stability, your resolution, ASPX, but if we teach freezes and floor closures, yeah, so they've got a sign-up page for each individual report that they have, and so that's what you would do also. You have a sign-up page with its own sign-up form for each one of those things. And if you go to my videos, you will see that I have a whole thing on how to use this lesson 14, Add Email Marketing, but it shows you how to use AWeber and how to create the broadcast form and how to create the list and how to create the sign-up form and all the rest of that stuff. So... All of that should be there for you without any problem at all. 
Let's see. I'm going to see if your microphone is working yet. Yeah. Is it working, John? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? I can. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right. Sorry about that. Hey, no problem. Uh, uh, good to meet you. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving, great chat. I'm loving the site and everything, so I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so if I do that, will I be able to make the like that uh, vertical list like they have with a report on top of each other like that if I do the AWeber thing? Yeah, because that's not dependent on AWeber. This is the AWeber part here, okay. right? It's the collecting the information, and it is then giving them a download link once they give you and confirm their information. That's the AWeber part. This part is not AWeber. This would just be, a, you know, you could do a table. Uh, I have a, let's see. I don't know how to do tables. Well, a couple of weeks ago, though, I did a, I answered a question about a table plug-in. I think it's WP Tables Reloaded. And all you would do is use that to create a, essentially a three-column table with as many pieces as you want. And in column uh -huh. one, you'd put your little image. And in column two, you'd put the information. And in column three, you'd put your link. And, uh, okay. uh, and then that link would link to the specific page that had the AWeber sign-up form on it. And so that's okay. the AWeber part. AWeber will handle capturing the email address and delivering them a link so they can download the report. And then this right. takes them directly to the, uh, the AWeber sign-up form. And it wouldn't have to look exactly like that, right? I mean, you yeah, could just right. as easily no, no. put a graphic image, you know, beside a paragraph of text in the text editor. I also have a, uh, I also have a video on how to align text and images in the text editor. And uh, I believe that is under, yeah, under using WordPress intermediate tutorials, aligning images and text. I've got a video on that. Uh -huh. So you could do something sort of, I mean, I'm not actually doing it this way, but something that looked, oh, I have to log out in order to see the, that version. And I just log out, log out. So in order to see, you know, this, you could easily put a little graphic image and a little paragraph, and then and there'd be a link down there that you could click that would take you off to the page rather than yeah, like, the table. I like that, too. So that's without uh, adding up using the plugin, right? I just do little, uh, are those pages or categories? You know, like start building a website, is that a page? Or well, this links category? off to a page, which is exactly what you would be doing, too, right? You would be linking off to a specific page that would have a sign-up form on it. Right. Oh, those are like little post things that you had. Well, when you back, when again, you oh, if we go back like this. You yeah. have a page and there's a post on each. Yeah, these are not teasers. This is actually constructed in my text editor. And so it, these are not teasers, although they kind of look like a teaser. But a teaser, right, is one of these things, right? This is right. It's, it's not a teaser. It was just something that I that I built inside the text editor, and if you come down here to uh, using WordPress intermediate tutorials, you know how to align images with blocks of text in the content area is the uh, solution to that. Is the way to get those images on one side and the text on the other. When you say text editor, is that a plugin or is that something that's in the back end of the WordPress? No, it's that's the text editor inside the back end of the WordPress. So, oh, okay. so if we come down here, go to the back side, and then in this case, I mean it's not going to look exactly the same for you because I have mine in two columns and that sort of stuff, but. If we just run over to the, let's see, where is that? That is video tutorials. And look at it in the visual view. See, that's what what I have going on here is, you know, one little oh, image okay. next to this paragraph, another little image next to that paragraph, so on and so forth. I see. Yeah, okay. So, and it just keeps on going down like that. Okay. And then each image, you have a link that goes to the AWeber page. 
Yes, each one of these, uh, each image or each link itself or, you know, because these also, actually, I don't think the image does link. I think the image just sits there. Yeah, the image doesn't actually link off to anything. It just sits there. The, okay. the link is the, is the text. Okay. So I can do either way. I can do like you did here or I can do the table. Yeah, this is probably easier. Oh, really? doing the table okay. unless you really want it to look like this uh -huh. no I'm, I'm, it's just getting the information to the folks that's all mm -hmm. well it's probably easier to do it this way then I see and you have a video for this one right I do that is one. Yeah, I don't want to change that page yeah that is down here at the bottom it's uh, align oh, images okay. and text all right So we still, so does that wrap that question up for you? Yeah, basically I got to go to uh, learn how to do that and then sign up for an AWeber account. Um, I think that should cover that then. Um, yeah, because you saw, oh. you saw that we have a lesson on the AWeber thing too, right? How to uh, add that to marketing. Okay. The other thing, would I need to, um, if I do the AWeber and stuff, I noticed there's an AWeber plugin. Do I do that also? Or is that separate? Well, you know, I haven't used the AWeber plugin because they just came out with that. So, oh. I mean, they came out with that. I finished this video series like a month ago, I think. And, well, I don't know when I finished it. But immediately after... I finished it. They came out with their October 11th. This has been more than that. It's been more than a month ago. It just seems like it was a month. But after that, they came out with that plugin, and I haven't actually tried that plugin. So I don't know what the right answer to that question is. Okay. Um, but I will, um, I'll take a look at it here, probably kind of buried today, but I'll take a look at it tomorrow right. and see if I can, uh, you know, maybe I'll add a little part to this lesson 14 so that we can see what that looks like. Right, right. Yeah, I saw that the plugin doesn't work unless you activate it, and so I didn't know which which you did first. Do you sign up for AWeber first, or you do that plugin? Yeah, you sign up for AWeber first, and what I show in this lesson is how to, you know, insert those, create those forms, and insert those forms without a plugin. I see. But you can, I mean, they did the plugin to make it easier. Now, whether or not you can have, you know, if you've got fourteen different reports whether you're not you can have 14 different widgets each one linking off to a separate list uh, I don't know that's the thing okay. that would be interesting to to find out I mean it wouldn't really work if what you did was is if it only went to a single list because right. if it only goes to a single list there's no way for you to give them a download link you know for only one report You'd end up needing right. to give them a download link to the page that had all the reports on it, and they could download whatever report they wanted. And if that's the way you want to do it, then there's, then right. you could get away with a single list. But. Well, I'm going to work on that all day today, then, and, and um, I'll report back to you what I find out. Then. Great. And feel free to, I mean, if you work on it all day, and then you call later on this afternoon when I've got the next one going, you know, we can okay. take it up again there, so... All right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Thanks so Great. much. Thank you, John. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too.